Here's your StormTrack 7 forecast. Good afternoon, Eastern Iowa. I'm StormTrack 7 meteorologist Danny Cassie. Well, a quieter day today, but still a little bit on the warmer side and muggy side. Well, not necessarily warmer because it is below normal, but a little bit on the muggy side. High temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. We'll have partly cloudy skies filling this afternoon, and that elevated wildfire smoke will continue to give us a hazy sky. But the good news is, is most of it should stay elevated. There will be a little bit near the surface, so maybe some minor air quality issues, but widespread kind of massive air quality issues, the good news is, should be on the lower side. And we'll have winds that are light out of the east around 5 to 10. For tonight, skies will clear. We'll continue to see that haze. Low temperatures for the most part in the low to mid-60s, a little bit cooler off to the east, a little bit farther away from the warmer air starting to move in from the west. Winds stay light now out of the southeast at 5 to 10. And to wrap up the work week tomorrow, we will get a little bit warmer, a little bit more seasonal high temperatures. Highs are in the low to mid 80s, mostly sunny skies, continuing to see that haze. We'll be on the muggy side as well with dew points into the upper 60s. Now in the middle of the atmosphere, usually we like to look for two things, troughs and ridges. And the ridge you can see is being built up to the west. You see this kind of mountaintop appearance. That usually indicates drier and hotter conditions. That's why the west and really the Rocky Mountains is seeing very hot conditions. Now into the weekend, it'll kind of flatten a little bit, but you see it's going to kind of build here through the week. And you're noticing we're right on the edge. So we are going to see the hotter conditions, but we're on the edge of this. You see it kind of now kind of moving southeast or from northwest to southeast. When we're on the edge of that, depending on where we set up, that could give us a chance of some showers and storms, maybe even some stronger storms potentially. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Of course, we are still a few days out, but I think no matter what, we're going to see the heat build again. It's just a matter of where these storms set up for our potential into next week. And with that, the humidity is going to be on the rise as well. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s through Friday. From the weekend into early next week, we'll be in the low to maybe mid 70s. So it's going to be uncomfortable. As the temperatures are on the rise as well, those peak heat indexes are going to be a lot higher as well. For today and tomorrow will be pretty similar to the high temperature, maybe add on a couple of degrees. And then for Saturday and Sunday in the low to mid 90s across the board and Monday we're approaching 100 degrees and that kind of 100 degree feels like that forecast heat index will probably be pretty similar as temperatures are expected to stay in the upper 80s and low 90s at least through Friday next week as well as those dew points probably staying in the upper 60s and low 70s. So it's going to be hot, especially now heading into the late July into the first week of August. So your city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. Temperatures on the rise will stay dry through Saturday. Maybe could see an isolated storm Saturday night and during the day on Sunday, maybe pretty isolated. But the best chance is going to arrive Sunday night into the day on Monday. So we'll have to watch those two days, how storms develop there. And then again, for now, we're dry Tuesday and Wednesday, but we'll have to see how things set up in the atmosphere to where we maybe could see those storm chances. Thursday for the first day of August, currently an isolated storm chance there. But notice high temperatures staying warm in the upper 80s and low 90s. And notice low temperatures, you look for that for you know, possible dew points, staying a little bit warmer as well there in the upper 60s and low 70s.